This is how Eric Ten Hag's tactics beat Nottingham Forest. Off the ball Manchester United tried to cover the central channels, however this left free to the opponent's fullbacks, but when they received the ball United's fullback and winger were close to him and they were supported by Casemiro. When Man United had the ball Nottingham tried to press high, nevertheless Lindelof and Martinez were smart to take advantage of the passing lines that Casemiro created. As United broke Nottingham's pressure, their right fullback was out of position, therefore Rashford received with space. With his great speed he got right of two defenders and on the box he scored with his left foot. Since that moment Nottingham Forest didn't press high and waited in their half. Thus Lindelof and Martinez were in charge to start the build up. Eriksen and Casemiro were clever to create passing lines, since one of these dropped back and received the ball, but also one Bisaka dropped back to half a space and progressed through the flanks with Anthony. Thanks to those movements, United's midfielders and inverted fullbacks had a space on the opponent's half. When Eriksen received with positional advantage and couldn't find possible receptors on the central channels, he opened with Rashford. But also it was important the movements without the ball of Bruno Fernandes since he dragged his mark and created a passing line for Behorts. As he has great skills with his back at the goal, he also dragged to the opponent's fullback and this created a space for Anthony. When the midfielders took the ball to the opponent's half and Nottingham defended deep, Man United's strikers like Anthony dropped back to have great combinations with Behorts and Bruno Fernandes. 20 minutes United played badly because they gave away easy balls and this helped to the opponent to have quick transitions. Nevertheless Lindelof and Martinez were first class to recover the ball in their box. In the last minute of the first half Lindelof was far from Juan Bisaka and this created a gap on Nottingham's defensive structure. Therefore Anthony dropped back to receive in that space and played with Casemiro who got right off his mark and kept advancing. He waited for two movements, one of Behorts who dragged to the defensive line to their box and the movement of Anthony who arrived to the edge of the box with a space. He shot and the goalkeeper saved but Behorts was there to score. On the second half we saw more times that Eriksen joined the center backs, but also Malasi and Wambisaka joined Casemiro. Anthony moved to the middle and Bruno Fernandes to the right. Thanks to these movements the center backs had more passing options, therefore United progressed to the final third with danger, but also thanks to the movements of Behorts off the ball because he freed his teammates. We also saw great coordination between Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes because one created a space for the other and the center backs played long to the space that they already created. For Man United's third goal Nottingham tried to press high. They were pressing to Malasia but Casemiro supported him and saw that Fernandes had positional advantage. Therefore Bruno moved with the ball and played a through ball to Pelistri. After a rebound Elanga grabbed the ball and assisted to Bruno Fernandes who scored. Leave your thoughts about this game, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by Play by Metric Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform. Use coupon Nasir Salad at checkout for a 10% discount.